Hey everybody, it's Keegan here. I'm back with another video for you guys, and it's time for another vlog video. And today is actually going to be a story time vlog, as I haven't done one of these in a while. Not since the end of June, which is when I uploaded my last story time vlog. So, um, it's going to be a pretty simple story. It's something that I'm sure we could all relate to. The first mature rated game we've ever that you've ever played. And, um, yeah, let's just get right into it. Now, I've been playing video games since I was probably maybe three or four years old. I don't know, I've been playing video games for the longest time. But when I was a lot younger, I was only allowed to play games that were either rated E for everyone, E10 for ages 10 and up, or T for teen, but nothing rated M for mature. I was pretty much not allowed to play anything that was like Call of Duty, Battlefield, Grand Theft Auto, Halo... You name it, anything that got the M rating, I was not allowed to play as a kid when I was a lot younger. Although, I was allowed, I was only allowed to play games that are rated E to T, from stuff like Lego Star Wars to Super Smash Brothers, Mario, Sonic, pretty much, you name it. Although, we did own two mature rated games before I was allowed to play them. Those were Grand Theft Auto 4 and Modern Warfare 2 on the, the original Modern Warfare 2 on the PS3. Um, I don't exactly remember how we got Grand Theft Auto 4. I think we got it for free or something when we went shopping at GameStop one time back in 2009. So they just gave us the game for free or something. I don't know. It was a long time ago. But me and my brother were not allowed to play it. It was my dad who played it, but I guess he didn't really like it. He didn't really play it that much. So we just never played it again, I guess. But uh, other than that, when me and my brother were a lot younger, we were just not allowed to play any games that were rated M. Although that all changed one day when I was 10 and when we were visiting one evening at my uncle's house. This was back in around the end of the summer of 2011. Uh, we were over at my uncle's house for the evening and I was playing on my uncle's Xbox 360 he didn't have very many uh, E-rated games. The only E-rated games he had, from what I remember, were Viva Pinata and um, Lego Indiana Jones, the first one. And this was like around 10 or 15 minutes before we were getting ready to leave. And uh, I was trying to convince my mom to let me play a mature rated game. I don't exactly remember what I said to convince my mom to let me play a mature rated game. I was saying, I, I think I might have said something like, I don't know what else to play or something. I was pretty much just begging my mom to let me play a mature rated game. And eventually she gave, in, she gave in and she let me play a mature rated game. And my first mature rated game that I ever played was Halo 3. Yep, Halo 3, one of the best games in the series. And was also the first mature rated game I ever played. Now, I didn't play it for very long. I only played it for like maybe five or ten minutes or something, but it was very short. And I was playing on the campaign. I don't exactly remember what mission it was. I think it might have been the final mission in the game where you gotta gotta stop the the monitor or whatever. I don't remember. I haven't played Halo 3 in a long time. But all I remember is that in the mission there was a lot of flood everywhere. Not like water, but if you've played Halo, you probably know what I'm talking about, what I mean by the Flood. Those big annoying mutants that basically, they're just like parasites or something. But if you if you played Halo, you know what I'm talking about. Now, it took me a little bit of time to figure out the controls, because I think the first button I ever pressed was like the grenade or something. And I kept dying a couple times, but that didn't make me mad. I just couldn't believe I was playing a mature rated game at last. And... I was pretty much allowed to play any M-rated game since then. But like I said, at the time, I didn't play the game for very long, but it didn't take me long to fall in love with Halo. And Halo 3 was the first game to get me into liking Halo. And about a week or so after the day I played Halo, my dad and I bought me an Xbox 360 with the Kinect because it was the slim model that had the Kinect. And... Um, we went back to my uncle's house and we, my uncle gave me his copy of Halo 3, Halo 3 ODST, 
and Halo 2, which was the original Xbox uh, version, which, speaking of, uh, one sec, one second, yeah, this copy of Halo 2 right here was the exact copy that my uncle had. I also have the same copy of Halo 3 and ODST, but they're downstairs in the game room. I'm not going to get those for this video. Although, for some reason, Halo 2 would never work on my Xbox 360 for some strange reason. I guess it's because it was a slim or something. I don't know. It was a long time ago. I finally got an original Xbox a while ago, so now I'm able to play it. But, uh, yep. Yeah. It was that day when I first played Halo 3. I fell in love with Halo. Well, I like a lot of the older Halo games at least. But, uh, yep, Halo 3 was pretty much the first mature rated game I've ever played. And since then, I've been playing a lot of mature rated games since then. And, yep. Although, when I was a kid, I'd have to have someone come with me if I wanted to buy a mature rated game. Because they wouldn't let me, they wouldn't sell it to me. Because, I remember one time, when I went to go to, um... Uh, I'm trying to remember. I went to GameStop. I think this was when I bought. I'm trying to remember. I think I bought Call of Duty 4 or uh, Fallout 3. One of those. I don't know. It was one of those two games. I tried to buy either Call of Duty 4 or Fallout 3, but the people at GameStop wouldn't sell it to me because I was, I was 10 years old at the time, and they wouldn't sell a 17 plus game to me. So I had to go and go get my mom to pay for it. <laughs> but I know I, I'm sure I'm not the only one who can relate to that. Uh, it's kind of funny though. When you're when you're younger, they wouldn't allow you to buy it. But when you get older, they just allow you to buy it. Ah <laughs> oh, man, time flies. Well, I guess that's pretty much sums up the whole story. And I guess I'm going to end the video right here. And uh, thank you guys for watching, you guys. And before I end the video, what was the first mature rated game you've ever played? Let me know in the comments below, and I would glad I would be glad to hear them. But uh, thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed the video, feel free to leave a like, leave a comment below, subscribe for more videos like this, and turn on notifications, and share the video. And more videos will be coming out soon. I was actually going to be doing a story time video today on another topic, but I'm going to save that for another day. But anyways, you guys, thanks so much for watching. Hope you guys have a great day. And until next time, this is Keegan Shepard signing off. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. And yeah, take care, everybody. Peace out. Bye-bye.